I really don't need to hear I told you so right now. All you're gonna hear from me is I hope you're okay. I'll be alright. I just feel so stupid. You're not stupid. You're trusting and a good person. That's what separates you from people like her. Like, I appreciate it, but I still can't believe I let my guard down like that. You were right about everything. We'll make her pay for this. I promise. <clears throat> Welcome to SmackDown Live, where hopefully we're about to get some sort of clarification from Brooklyn Von Braun on last week's shocking turn of events. I am a big fan of movies. Mostly the ones I've starred in, but there are some other ones that are okay too. But in any film, my favorite part is always near the end when the villain explains their big evil plan going over every single detail of how they pulled the wool over the stupid idiot hero's eyes. But in movies, this usually allows the hero time to escape or stop the bad guy in some way. But I'm not gonna be stopped. See, I already destroyed your idiot hero last week with the help of Samoa Joe. So now, I have all the time in the world to walk you through every single detail of my brilliant scheme. Like I said, this is my favorite part. So here we go. When I was GM, I brought Samoa Joe back fully knowing what his plans were for attacking Trey in the best of five final and costing Red her title. In fact, I helped make those plans myself. Then, I gave Trey a title match against Adam Cole just so Joe could eventually take it from Trey. Sorry, Adam. After that, I inserted myself into the mixed match challenge as Trey's partner to earn his trust, giving me the opportunity to teach him the secret Coquina Clutch escape. Only when Joe got it on Trey, and he thought he had it all under control, those ankles weren't crossed, were they? because it wasn't a secret anymore. I told Joe exactly what to expect, and Trey never had a chance. <laughs> now, unfortunately, to make Trey and Red think I had changed for the better, I did have to donate a bunch of money to an animal shelter. But don't worry. I purchased the shelter, kicked out all the disgusting animals, and I'm turning it into the newest location for my tanning salon chain, Brooklyn Von Brown. Which, if you ask me, is a lot more to serve the community. So right about now, your tiny brains are probably asking, but why, Brooklyn? Why would you do all of this? I did this to maintain the hierarchy. To show Red and Trey that despite what they think they've achieved in WWE, I'm the star and they're the losers. Just like it's always been. And that will never change. Anyway, I've spent way too much time talking about those rejects, so let's discuss what's next for the American hero. New trademark lawsuit pending. Well, I have some big news to share. I'm a champion! You see, I recently talked to WWE management about bringing back a title from the past, and they agreed I was the perfect superstar to award it to. So I'd like to present to you, your new WWE Divas Champion, me! You've got to be kidding me. I guess this explains why I was told to inform Red that the Divas Championship was already spoken for. You know, maybe in the future, Trey, you should be a little more careful about who sees your phone. You never know what they could find on there. Like maybe even a copy of a list outlining all their friends' dreams and ambitions. Clearly, Red has heard and seen enough. Well, she should be mad at her friend Trey for letting all this happen. Go right now, you and me. I'm a prize fighter, and considering I've got the prize, I decide when I fight. So run along. 
Maybe there's something else you can cross off your list, like find someone who will take me out on a date or fix my jacked up teeth. Those are real things on her list. I saw it. I'm coming for you and that title. Look out! This is getting out of hand. You wanted this? Well, now you got it. Thankfully, Trey is here to put an end to this. It's Samoa Joe. Where did he come from? It's obvious Brooklyn and Samoa Joe are always two steps ahead of Red and Trey. And now Brooklyn is going to force Red to watch her best friend get destroyed by Samoa Joe yet again. He's suffered enough. Come on. Don't do it. No. Trey might be seriously injured. This, this is bad. Well, Trey's condition's unclear. One thing is, the duo of Brooklyn Von Bra and Samoa Joe will annihilate anyone who attempts to get in their way. So what's the verdict? Nothing too serious. I'll just be out a couple weeks. You're lucky. That could have ended your career. It would take a much worse attack than that to end my career. Or being offered the hosting gig on America's Next Top Hand Model, which is the best show on TV, hands down. See? I'm a natural. So, are you mad that Brooklyn saw the list on my phone? I was, but I think I'm over it, considering you almost got snapped in half trying to help me. Besides, I just found out next week I have a number one contenders match for the Divas Championship. So I'm still going to cross it off the list. Good. At least one of us will be in the title picture. What do you mean? Aren't you going to use your rematch clause when you heal up? I would if I had one. Turns out one of the other loose ends Brooklyn took care of before she stepped down as GM was removing the rematch clause from my contract. So if I want another shot at Samoa Joe, I'm going to have to earn it just like anyone else. I know you can do it. But first, you need to focus on getting better. I guess it's just like on America's Next Top Hand Model when Andrea jammed her finger playing volleyball and lost the Christmas engagement ring campaign. It took a lot of hard work and moisturizing, but in a couple months her hand was back in top form and she booked the Valentine's Day spot, which was way bigger than the Christmas gig. I must have missed that episode. I can get you a copy. I have every one of them saved. I think I got the gist of it. Your loss. If you're just joining us on SmackDown Live, this fatal four-way match will determine the number one contender for Brooklyn Von Braun's WWE Divas Championship. Yes, you heard that correctly. Brooklyn petitioned WWE officials to bring the Divas Championship out of retirement and awarded to her simply out of spite towards Red. The Davis Championship actually holds a lot of personal meaning for Red, and it was one of the final milestones she wanted to cross off her list. You two are acting like Red's been barred from ever holding the Divas Championship. She still has that opportunity if she can win this match and then defeat Brooklyn Von Braun. Oh, saw it coming. Ducks out of the way there. Ooh. An overhand chop. That'll hinder your modeling career. Russian leg sweep. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Quick thinking by Nia Jax. Oh my gosh. What an uppercut. Matt Slam with some attitude. Oh man, the good Kai just bit. It could be over here.
huge pinfall win here tonight. I really believe any one of these four could have won tonight, but the cold truth of the matter is that three of them will be hanging their head low tonight. Well, that'll do it here for this thrilling fatal four-way match. At the Royal Rumble, the WWE Universe will witness a night of firsts. It'll be the first time the WWE Divas Championship has been defended in nearly 15 years. And it'll be the first time these two longtime rivals step inside the ring and face each other in a one-on-one -on -one match. So ladies, all that's left is to sign the contract and make this unprecedented night official. Byron, as former GM of SmackDown Live, I conducted quite a few contract signings. And let me just say, you're doing a terrible job. You didn't even give me a chance to embarrass my opponent. Sorry. Now, Byron mentioned this is going to be the first official match between Red and I, but we've had our share of fights over the years. So I wanted to take the WWE Universe back to when Red and I were in high school to see actual footage from our very first fight. Well, it was really more of a one-sided beatdown. This is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team! What are you gonna do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table? I'm going to get help. <laughs> Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. <laughs> now her face matches her nickname. Hot head red! Hot head red! Hot head red! <laughs> At the Royal Rumble, our next fight is going to end just like they always have. You, on the ground, screaming in pain, tapping out to the biggest crossover star in WWE history, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun! I'll do my talking in the ring, at the Royal Rumble. Wait, before you leave, I have a gift for you. To commemorate our big match and also honor our very first fight. Come on, it's rude to turn down a gift. Of course Hothead Red loses her temper. She was provoked. I hope Red's happy, but if you ask me, this type of juvenile behavior should have stayed in high school. No matter how you feel about what just transpired, these two lifelong rivals will finally settle their differences once and for all at the Royal Rumble. I wrote a special song for the Royal Rumble. Want to hear it? Not really. Well, I'm going to play it anyway. Well, I've been searching all these years for a sign to show me the way. But it was right in front of me and he went by the name of Trey. You see, this man's been lucky his entire stupid career. So I knew if he could succeed, I had nothing to fear. Tonight I outlast 29 men so I can get my shot at the gold. And then the universe walks with Elias in the greatest tale ever told. So what do you think? I think you're going to have to rewrite your song after tonight. So what number did you get for the Royal Rumble match? Two. Oh, well, that's a really tough draw. But I'm sure lots of people have won from that spot. Wait, is that piece of paper with your number on it folded in half? Oh, yeah, it is. It's not two, it's 23. Okay, now I like your chances a little better. Not that I was doubting you before. <laughs> <laughs> After I win the Rumble, I can't wait to watch you put Brooklyn in her place once and for all. She may have gotten the better of me in the past, but tonight's different. 
She has to step into my ring. Yeah. My only concern is she might pull something cheap, like having Samoa Joe get involved. I'll make sure that doesn't happen. By the way, have you seen Sin Cara? I think I owe him an apology. Why? When I thought I drew number two, I may have thrown a slight tantrum and damaged his mini trampoline. I'm not sure he even knows how to get into the ring without that. I think he'll manage for one night. Besides, we have bigger things to worry about. Okay. Guys, Tyler Breeze has been unsuccessfully trying to eliminate Otis for quite a while now. He's going to need a lot more stakes and lift a lot more weights if he wants to throw Otis over the top rope. Adam Cole from behind, and he eliminates both of them. And now Adam Cole is all alone in the ring, giving him a chance to catch his breath before the next superstar enters. Here we go. Who is it going to be? His trampoline exploded. Is he okay? Considering he just hit the apron and rib first at full speed, I'm going to go with no. Unfortunately, it looks like Sin Cara will not be able to compete in the Royal Rumble match. Ooh. I guess we're moving on to our next entrance. It's Trey! Adam Cole can't wait to get his hands on him. Sorry, man. That's, that's on me. These two certainly have some unfinished business as Trey defeated Adam Cole for the WWE Championship thanks to Samoa Joe's interference. The Royal Rumble match has such a rich history. Almost 1,000 competitors, but only a few dozen winners over the last 30 years. I understand a superstar's excitement in competing in the Royal Rumble match, but it's so important to conserve your energy. I have to agree with you, Corey. On the other hand, superstars know this is where they can become legendary. Remember, one of these competitors will go on to WrestleMania to battle for the championship of their choice. And now that one's countered. Oh, wow, what a sequence there from Adam Cole. So Corner now, double axe handle. This could be the end of the road for him, guys. He won't go easy, though. That's elimination. Adam Cole has been eliminated. I'd be shocked if it isn't Cole. Oh, look at this. Fireman's carry. Backbreaker. Pretty sure I invented that move. Been kicked right to the gut. Look who's coming now, guys. This could be a game changer, Michael. KO punch. Ooh. What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Oh, Ooh, what a knee left. Somebody better check his nose. Ooh, man. Short clothesline hits its mark. Seth Rollins Whoa. has been Why eliminated. Damage. DDT. There he goes. Crashing to the floor. The team dream has been eliminated. Revenge shot echoing through the arena. Possible elimination, Corey. More like a definite elimination, if you ask me. This gut buster. Oh, man. And the senton. Oh, Ricochet has been eliminated. to the outside. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias has been eliminated. Oh. Kevin Owens doing a 
great job of turning that one around. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Oh, that's the impact. Kevin Owens has been eliminated. And will now go on to fight for a championship at WrestleMania. Wait, wait a second, why is the countdown clock starting up again? The, the rumble's over. Apparently there's another entrance. <laughs> Hold on, it can't be. Is that who I think it is? No way. Is in the Royal Rumble. This is unbelievable. We all thought the match was over, but I guess there are 31 entrants this year. It's a president. He can do whatever he wants. We're all witnessing history for the first time ever. The president is competing in the Royal Rumble. And Trey has to beat him to go to WrestleMania. Over the years, there have been numerous surprise entrants in the Royal Rumble, from returning superstars to legends and even celebrities. But none of them were bigger than this. Surprise factor aside, what can we expect to see from President Rock tonight? I mean, as of late, all of his fierce opponents have been of the political variety in Washington. What kind of fighting chip is he in? Just look at him. I don't think he's missed a workout the entire time he's been in the Oval Office. In fact, I heard half of Air Force One has been converted into the top of the line gym. And don't forget, Trey's already been in the rumble for a while. The president's completely rested. You two may be right, but we're about to find out if our commander-in-chief has what it takes to win the Royal Rumble. Strikes. Ooh, what impact. Ah! Striking combination. He has become relentless at this point. That's what he does. Keep on the attack. He might have been waiting on that one. Knee lift. Oh, Corey, he had loaded there. Struggling to make the elimination here. This is going to be a tough one to get. Incredible technical prowess from The Rock. Saw that one coming. And it's The Rock with the reversal. Bulldog delivered with force. Surprises this time it's official. Trey has won the Royal Rumble and will compete for a title at WrestleMania. I still can't believe what we just witnessed. This is going to make headlines all around the world. It looks like the president's not finished with Trey. Trey has earned the president's seal of approval. Maybe he's in line for a cabinet position. Let's not get carried away, Saxton. He should at least get an invite to the White House. You've known the president for a long time, Cole. You been to the White House yet? No, but he's a busy guy. I'm sure he'll get around to inviting me. Anyway, congratulations again to Trey on this history-making night. The match would nearly 
Two decades of build-up has finally made it to a WWE rank. It's Red versus Brooklyn Von Braun. Until recently, I... Oh, man. Look at these shots. Did you hear the impact? Uh -oh. the arm. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. Gets out of dodge there. She's in full control now. Kick. Changes her fortune there. Got her! Just striking at will. Ah, kick! Nasty kick. That's how you break down your opponent. Looks like a dangerous Bulgarian to me. Red and Brooklyn are going back and forth, taking out years of frustration on each other. Looks like Red's got the upper hand for now. Red with the tackle. And now both women are down. So far, these two have been matching each other move for move. One of them needs to somehow gain an edge. And there you see Samoa Joe watching this heated battle. I think he's headed out here to provide that edge Brooklyn needs. Trey nails him from behind. He was ready to stop him. And they're ready to do battle in the back. Oh. Bottom uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. He evades the attack. Boom. Boom. Good Boom. night. Trey manages to get Samoa Joe down, but for how long? Wait, what's Trey doing? I think he's going to put Joe inside the trunk of that car. He's going to try to. Joe's dead weight. Well, that's one way to stop Samoa Joe from interfering. Yeah, assuming that trunk is strong enough to contain Joe and his enhanced arm. It looks like it'll do the job, for now at least. Red and Brooklyn are finally recovering after we cut away to see what was happening backstage between Trey and Samoa Joe. I'm just glad that thanks to Trey, we're going to get a definitive winner in this match. Yeah, as long as one of them can make it back in the ring before the 10 count. And they both do. Neither of them are ready for this match to end. For nearly a decade, the Divas title was the pinnacle for women's wrestling. And it's back up for grabs tonight. Now, Michael, you and I were there to call the final defense of this title at Roadblock in 2016. And I am excited to call it again right here tonight. Again, the women's championship is on the line. She is just too quick. Got out of the way in a hurry. Not what she was looking for. What's going to happen now? Wow, what impact! It's champion's advantage. The title cannot change hands by countout or disqualification. You can lose the match, but still keep the championship. Impressive strike combination. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. She scurries out of there. Back 
back into the ring. Drop kick on the mark. Stringing together some big moves here. Momentum has clearly swung her way. What an uppercut. The close of this match is just ahead. Yeah, this could be the end of the road for her. She goes for the cover. and gets the shoulder up. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Boom. Kick. That could be it. One, two, three. Red has done it. Not only has she defeated the woman who's tormented her for years, but she's also achieved a childhood dream in capturing the WWE Divas Championship. This has to feel like a giant weight has been lifted off of Red in so many ways. And here comes Red's best friend to join in the celebration. Respect to Red for being able to achieve the seemingly impossible. This is truly a special night for her, both personally and professionally.